In this video, I'll be terminating a Category 5 cable that you see here, and I'll be terminating the ends with an RJ45 connector. The first step is to remove this sheathing that surrounds the twisted pair, and you usually do about one, in one and a half inches to two inches. I'm going to do about one and a half inches and I'm using a tool that's just going to pull the sheathing apart and I'll just uh, press this pretty quickly and as you'll know the sheathing pulls right off. There's a pull wire in here, it's usually uh, like a nylon wire that you need to cut. Let's see if I can show you that right there. We're going to clip that and that prevents the wires from untwisting when you pull on the wire a little bit. So now you have Four pair, there's eight wires in the cable, four, <coughs> four pair. And we're going to untwist the wires and we will, uh, I mean I could probably cut too much off, let me cut a little, uh, okay. I'm going to untwist the wires and we're going to use the 568B wiring uh, standard and uh, that <coughs> wiring standard requires that we placed, uh, we got an orange white, this is orange white, orange, and the next wire will untwist the green and the green white, and we have a green white. Then we untwist the blue and the blue white wires, and place the blue next to the green white, then the blue white goes right next to the solid blue, then our green, and then we'll untwist the brown white brown, the brown and the brown white, and our brown white goes next to the green and then our blue. Now we've got these wires lined up according to the 568B wiring standard. Now we're going to twist those and kind of straighten them out. Make sure they didn't uh, flip over. There's the one that did. And when you get those fairly flat, like I have there, then you want to clip them. Now, when you clip them, you leave about that much. That's about <clears throat> maybe just a little bit over a half inch. And I hold it with my thumb, like so and I clip those off I clip them off there and I try to clip them off so that they're flush across if you can see you take the RJ45 connector you've got a hook on one end there's a hook on the bottom hook goes on the bottom then we'll insert the wires into the end of the connector like so push it all the way as far as we can get it now on the hook side, if we look, I don't know if you can see this, the wires should all should come to the very, as close as you can get them to the end. Flip it back over, we want to make one more check to make sure that our wires inside here did not flip while we put them in there and they look good. The last thing we do is take our crimping tool, this device here, and we place our RJ45 connector making sure that the cable doesn't slip out and we crimp it. And you hear the click? You should have a good crimp. So let's look at our termination here. We have an RJ45 connector that we've terminated onto our Cat5 cable and the sheathing is pushed up into the uh, connectors. That looks good. Our wires that are in there uh, looks correct and if we tug on it it should be a nice firm connection but that's a good termination so when you get both ends of your connector or both ends connected two connectors then we use a cable tester to make sure that our wires are connected and that we have good connectivity so we're going to plug in both ends of our cable 
like so. Turn the power on. Press this down so it goes automatic and you'll know that the uh, red LED lights are in synchronization. That's because we just constructed a straight through cable. A cable that would be used to connect your PC to a switch or a hub.